Okay, you feel so yeah. You're finna come in here and front like I'm not irritated because I am because I just recorded a whole 30 minute video and that video did not sound correct. Like the audio was boo boo garbage. The audio was so boo boo garbage. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was because of the setting that I had on my mic or whatever. But I am irritated. But I digress. I was talking about some good shit too on me. It just sounded like really gurgly, like really gargly type shit, type shit. And I was not fucking with it. And I was not about to put that out. So, hi guys. This is the second recording. I was talking about some good stuff too. Um, basically, let me come on here and start saying, I ain't no saint. I ain't no saint. I still be in it, seeing it. I still be smoking. I still be drinking. I'm on a journey. A journey, okay? Not fully sanctified. Not none of that, okay? So, before people get misconstrued, be like, oh, I thought you was on your Christian journey. I am. And it's a struggle. Considering the fact that I never actually had Jesus in my life. And I'm just now getting to know him after 24 years. The devil been having a field day with me all my life. And I didn't even know it. Um, But yeah. Basically, me and my man are trying for a baby again. Um... I still be smoking and drinking. I don't really condone it, you know. I, I just be doing a lot. I still be cussing. I'm trying not to have, you know, do sex. Um, because it's really not necessary. Honestly, I don't really care for it. Like, I don't really care for it anymore. But. We did try for a baby recently, um, so hopefully that goes well because Lord knows I don't want to end up feeling that pain again. I, I don't want to have another miscarriage. So, yeah, if God says the same, I'm hoping for a little boy don't really care what the gender of the child is as long as I have a child. Don't really care. Um, I always thought that was weird. People have baby showers and then they find out the gender at the baby shower and then they just go on this full Even right now, committing a sin, I'm being vain. Like, I cannot stop looking at myself. I'm being vain. It's not okay. And don't go saying, oh, it's just confidence. I didn't see myself a million times. I didn't see myself a million times. I do the same makeup, just a different wig. I know what I look like. It's vanity. It's vanity. It's vanity. It's vanity. It's a difference between confidence and vanity. I don't think... I don't know. Confidence. I feel like you just wear that shit. You feel me? Vanity. It's ugly. Like, it's really ugly. And I used to... Like, um, I used to be, y'all think, like, I used to be so vain. I used to look at myself in the mirror every five seconds. And y'all probably don't care, call me a terrible person. But back then, in high school, I used to think I looked better than every single bitch. And I did not. I was quite frankly very rough looking. I don't even know what the topic is today. 
really don't. I'm just going as I go. I'm fixing your hair. I'm fixing your hair because your strands are sticking up. You have strands of hair that are sticking up and it's not normal looking. I'm trying to fix it. Okay. So you're good now. But, um, yeah, I just really be feeling like be life in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me address this real quick. For the people who be coming up in my comments that be making requests and stuff that expect me to make a request, I really don't gotta do shit. <laughs> I really don't gotta do shit. I don't really have to do anything, to be honest. Um, y'all be so out of touch with reality. Like y'all be so out of touch with reality. Y'all act like people can't forget that you requested a video. Or y'all act like somebody has to do that video. Yeah, that's how you keep subscribers. But I don't mind. I'll do it. But when life goes on, life goes on. I ain't thinking about no video. Let's get that clear. And I seen y'all all in the comments defending me. And I was reading your comments. And I was kicking and giggling. <laughs> oh, man. It was cool. But y'all yeah, be nice. Y'all yeah, be nice to each other. Like, for real. And if you're, if you're watching this video, or if you un went ahead and unsubscribed, don't really care. Um... What can I say to you? Have some consideration. It's not nice to be inconsiderate. Yeah, you call me a liar. You call me a liar because I ain't do your video. Or I didn't want to. It's crazy. It's calling somebody a liar because either they couldn't do the video or they just didn't feel like doing it or they don't want to. It's crazy. Now, in my case, I would have did your video. But now I don't want to. You do know the last time I told you in the comments. The last time I told you in the comments. And if you was really, really, really watching my videos, you would know that I don't have a job. I don't have a job. I don't have no nails. And I just feel like it's only right if I have nails to do a camera tapping video. Because when you do capping, camera tapping videos, you do it for, you know, the sound in the visuals, not just the visuals. Now, it just don't make sense. Now, listen. It don't make sense. My money is tight. I don't have a job. My money tight. I don't have a job. I'm not getting paid from YouTube yet. And bills, 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 bills. And I just don't have the time. And my mental health be declining at times. Don't be inconsiderate. Don't be weird. That's all I'm asking. Ain't nobody trying to be mean to you. Nobody trying to do that. Just don't be just don't be inconsiderate and weird. Cause then I'ma block you. Simple. Anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, be nice to each other. And be considerate of others. It's getting cold down here. It's getting cold. It's getting cold down here in Alabama. But. Uh, Y'all, I can't even buy myself a coat. Um, I can't even buy myself a coat right now. A new coat. I mean, I don't really need a new coat. 
because I still have coats from like previous years, but I don't think they be fitting me because I've, you know, gained a little pounds. So I can't even buy myself a coat. What make you think I can go get my nails did and tap on the camera? Come on, bruh. Be for real. Um, I'm thinking about getting back in school, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to get back in school because the sh that my school has us doing is wild. Because why do I have to make a three-page report? Not a three-page, but I think it's like 20 pages, y'all. I got to do 20 pages on a report. Um, and then I can't even change the subject that I made it on. I can't even change the subject that I made it on. I have to use it from the previous year. I can't change the subject. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then we have to present, we have to present our project in front of all the professors me with my anxiety me my little old me who yeah not working not happening not happening not working so yeah i just said god that that that's the reason why i did not go back to school and then Honestly, the the money is crazy. Like, uh oh, my very light went out, y'all. What the? I don't know what's going on, but the devil is working. Cause what the f is going on? I don't care. The show must go on. I like this light better anyway. Anyways, yeah, I just wasn't feeling that. Because it's too much. And then on top of that, I got student loan debt that I have to pay. I'm in debt. First of all, what is Joe Biden doing? I thought you were supposed to be forgiving student loans. Other countries that got free health care, and here go America. Not giving a damn. Um. And I just really don't care for school. Um, I want to get back in working. But at the same time, I like laying my butt down. I like laying down. I like laying down. That's just, <laughs> that's just that on that. I like to sleep. 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 So, therefore. I haven't been on my Zoom. And sometimes I feel like, oh yeah, what else been keeping me in the bed? Um, now, the really real reason I haven't been making no videos is because I keep feeling like we in the last days. And in the last days, I probably would rather be spending my time, you know getting to know God getting to know Jesus but I also feel like I ain't gonna have enough time to like accomplish what I wanna accomplish because let's be honest Jesus can come back like that and if you don't believe in Jesus I don't know what to tell you I don't know what to tell you um, you think about that. You think about the next time that something happens to you that is good. Who do you praise? I know who I praise, but who you praise? Anyway, I'm not coming over here trying to ruffle nobody feathers. Just saying. Give God credit when it's due. 
there's plenty of times that my life could have been in danger. That I could have been dead. dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I was being watched over. I was in a praying household. My mama always prayed over me. And then it's just so crazy. It's just so crazy to me that I'm still here today because that little whole little BM, that little baby mama incident that I had told y'all about. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about and you're new, I'll leave that down in the description below for y'all can check it out. That could have went a whole different way. That could have went a whole different route. Because, yeah, and that, that could have went a whole different, entirely weird new way. So, I'm glad that I'm still here today. I'm glad that I'm able to see another day. I'm glad that I woke up this morning with Grishon Robbie saying, we woke up, amen. Um, yeah, we woke up, amen. Um, so, recently just bought my cat some new cat shampoo and stuff. Um, when my man get paid, we're gonna buy her a cat tree. I saw one on the TikTok shop, but I'm not so sure if I want to get that or not because it's the literal TikTok shop. I don't want anything. After them turmeric pads, I don't really trust anything from TikTok shop because one, it came out of nowhere. Where in, where did TikTok shop come from? How did it get so popular? Mm, I digress. That's another topic for another day. Um, I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm just winging it, kind of. Um, look out. This is a really big candle, and I got it from DJ Maxx. It was only like nine ninety nine. Was it? Was it nine ninety nine? I think it was on sale.
so focused on body positivity. I used to be one of them girls that think like that and be like, it's my body, I can do what I want with it, I can dress how I want. Yeah, my nigga, you can. Yeah, my nigga, you can. But it ain't even that. It ain't even the... That ain't even the point niggas is trying to tell you. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out before y'all get mad. And quite frankly, I don't care if you do. Bitch, if you don't respect yourself, ain't nobody gonna respect you. You ain't gonna get no respect. You ain't gonna get no respect. If you outside, not, like, if you outside with your ass half hanging out, you think niggas is gonna respect you? You think bitches gonna respect you? No. And y'all be saying, uh, it be the old assholes. Because I used to be one of them girls. I used to be one of them girls. They be like, oh, you be old assholes. They be hating because, no, bitch. They just trying to tell you that shit ain't cute and ain't what to do. And y'all favorite thing to say is, oh, y'all did it back then. Remember Freak Nick? Bitch. Remember, bitch. It's called Freak Nick. Everybody in their 20s that had a little bit of fun. I just kind of ended mine early. Now, <laughs> yeah, I kind of ended mine early. I'm quite thankful for that. Because had I been, had I been like single and... And I, and I had my own apartment, and I'm not living with my mom. I had I had what I had now, just exclude the relationship, I would have been hot too. Like, y'all hot tail. They just call it what it is. Y'all hot tail. Y'all fast and y'all tail. Let's just call it spade for spade. Ain't nobody trying to judge y'all. That shit just ain't cute. That shit ain't cute at all. Like, have some fucking decorum. Have some fucking decorum about yourself. Like, like, I could see if you was, like, you know, a celebrity or something. Like, A-list, B-list, C-list, maybe. And you got a stylist that, like, style you and shit like that. But you willingly choose to dress that way for no money, for no coin. You just spend your coin to do that. Whatever. Y'all do what y'all want to do. I don't care. You want to wear them You want to wear them shorts? Wear them shorts. Do I condone it? Do I agree with it? No, because I haven't been through that before. And honestly, to be quite vaguely honest with you, I didn't feel comfortable. And I had a bad party. My body was banging. My body was on point. I used to dress like that all the time. And until I went outside and then all eyes on me type shit. I ain't like that. I ain't like that. It didn't feel nice. And it wasn't even the right eyes. It was plotting ass nigga eyes. And, and nowadays, the way niggas act, the way niggas act, bruh. The way men act in general, I wouldn't even want to go outside like that because they'll hound you to your car while you're fully clothed coming from a grocery store and try to get your number. And if that phone don't ring in hand when he call your number, that ego of a man, that ego that a man have, it's going to get crushed. And you don't know what he gonna do. It's niggas out here that really kill bitches for declining their request of being a potential girlfriend that they be trying to pursue. It's sick. Like, it's sick. So I be trying my best not to, you know what I'm saying? I be trying my best. Because niggas are crazy. Now I just said this wasn't gonna be no 30 minute video, but here I am talking about something random. And um, just let y'all know, nobody is discrediting you. If you want to dress like that, dress like that. I'm going to get up and close to the mic so y'all can know 
if you want to dress that way, dress that way. I don't care. I don't know you from a can of paint. Just saying, I don't condone it and I don't like it. I'm allowed to have an opinion. I didn't even like it. Like, and I was a bad bitch. Cause it's like, yeah, girl, you got that ass. Yeah, girl, you got that body. Yes, you got everything good going on with you. But at what cost? At what cost? This is coming from a bitch who did only pants. Like, it was... I didn't even feel good doing that because it's like I'm entertaining random strangers on the internet. Now, YouTube is different. I'm not showing my body for money. I'm just showing my personality to others and they enjoy it. And I enjoy showing my personality to others. You dig what I'm saying? But with only means, it was just so. I just felt like I was dragging. I was dragging it. And you know how people say all money is not good money. All money is not good money. Yeah, when, yeah, like during that first little run I had, during the first little year when I was doing OnlyFans, it was cool. Like I made a decent amount of coin from it. But at the same time, I was so unhappy. I was so unhappy. Like, my mind was just wrapped around money. My mind was just so wrapped around money. Like, money is not the epitome of what you should do. Money is not the epitome of how you should live. If you're using it for a good way, and you're doing it the correct way, yeah. But I get it, bro. Everybody don't want to work no 9 to 5. These 9 to 5s don't even be 9 to 5 and for real. Because they be trying to cut your hours. They be being spiteful. You got people in there that don't act right. It's just like, you know. And it don't even be the job in itself. I always will say this. It never be the job in itself. It's always the people. Even if when I was doing only things. Yeah, even when I was doing that. It was never always the job. It was always the people that I came encounter with. Because I came encounter with some weirdos. Like straight up weirdos. And then there was other encounters where I had like good clients that would buy my content. But even with the good content, with the good clients, it was just like... This is not what I want to do. This is not what I'm going to be doing. And this is not how I want to do it. And this is not how I want to earn the stuff that I want to earn. Life is crazy. Money is the root of all evil. I'm going to say this again. Money is the root of all evil. Everybody do something for money. Why you think everybody be trying to go viral? Like, clout, 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 clout is a hell of a drug. Clout is a hell of a drug. People will do anything for clout. What Offset and Cardi B is like, they do anything for clout. Yes, because people will. They'll do anything for clout. It's a hell of a drug. And I don't condone any of it. I don't like it. Don't fuck with it. Never did. Never will. When people really be doing this shit to go viral. People really be doing shit to go viral. And then when they go viral. They be like. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. 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 But then the shit that they go viral for. Be the dumbest shit ever. And then they think it's just going to be a one time thing. That they make their little money and dip and go. No. That shit going to follow you everywhere you go. What you go viral for. It's going to follow you everywhere you can go. What you go viral for is going to follow you for years. That's why people know Vine. Um, Y'all might be too young to know about Vine. But for my people that know about Vine, 
That's why when Vine came out, people it was just good, wholesome fun. You know what I'm saying? It was just good, wholesome fun. And we know those people from Vine, like Summerella, um, what was his name? Uh, Meet on Mars. All them um, perfect laughs. We know them because they went viral for good reasons. And then they set the tone for what they did. Like they, that, that's what we call good money. Like good money. Because they went viral for their personality and their jokes. Now bad money. I'm going to see if I can give an example. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm not going to say anything else. I just gave you that one example. People are like, Chloe, it's just a hell of a drug. I don't understand. I will never get it. I will never understand. Like, it's not that serious to go viral. It's never that serious to go viral. Who the f- came up with that? I'm almost, I'm almost done with this video. I'm almost done with this video. I'm at 31 minutes. So, actually, no, I'm done with this video. I've been on here for a minute. And, um, if I continue, I'm not gonna have any storage. So, I'm just leave this right here. Because I'm trying to do the video without editing it. So, I can just go ahead and post it. So, this is gonna be a no edit type shit. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like the video, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me which button was your part, your favorite part of the video. If you didn't go to sleep already, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not sorry, actually. I'm not sorry. Like, God said, say what you say and mean what you say. I mean everything I say. So, yeah, I'm not sorry. I was about to apologize. No, I'm not sorry. Um, yeah, this is just my intrusive thoughts and what I be ta- what I be thinking about, I guess. Wait a little bit, a little bit.